The 15th Asian Junior Athletic Championships to be held at the Sugadasa Stadium in Colombo from the 9th to the 12th has been cancelled. The Asian Athletic Association and the International Amateur Athletic Association have decided to cancel this event. Sri Lanka Sports Authority said that this decision is unfair. In other news here at home, the Minister of National Languages and Social Integrity, Vasudevan Anyakara, said that stern action will be taken in coordination with the Ministry of Public Administration and Home Affairs against the government officials who are not making use of the dual languages training program. He said that before the end of this year, 50,000 officers will be given language training. Already 35,000 of them have been trained. Addressing a media conference in Colombo today, the minister said that a post testing program will also be carried out after teaching the languages. Minister of National Languages and Social Integrity Vasudeva Nanyakara said that some of these officers who learn the languages do not use whatever they have learnt in their offices. What we teach them, the minister said, is to address the persons who come to them in their own languages. However, it is not being done. He said if they are not using the language learnt, there is no purpose of teaching them. He said that if they do not use the language learnt and if they do not sit for the examination, promotions will be stopped and steps will be taken in coordination with the Ministry of Public Administration to take action against them. The first float plane aerodrome constructed at Danugam Oya has been commissioned. This seaplane uh, aerodrome is situated about 3 kilometers from the Kadunayak International Airport. The function of commissioning this float plane aerodrome was held under the patronage of Minister Basir Rajapaksa. This project will contribute to the tourism <laughs> industry. Last year alone, 900,000 tourists visited Sri Lanka. It is expectation to increase this number to 1 million this year. At present, the three, there are Sea plane stations in uh, Trincomalee, Damulla, Kandy, Nur Elia, Kasalri, Arugambe, Thisabaharam, Hambantota, Dikval, Koggala, and Bentota. The government has planned to increase this number to 20. In symbolizing this commissioning, 30 students from the Sea area were provided with the sea plane trip free of charge. The Civil Aviation Services Minister Priyankara Jayaratne and several parliamentarians and the Chairman of the Sri Lankan Airlines, Nishanta Vikramasinghe and several others attended this function. Meanwhile, the film Akasa Kusum has received the best film award at the Sark Film Festival. This film is directed by Prasanna Vitanage. The award ceremony was held at the uh, Tarangadi Theatre of the National Film Corporation yesterday. The Sark Film Festival, which started on the 16th of this month in Colombo, ended yesterday. 17 selected films from, Sa from the Sark region were presented at the festival. Aka Sukusum, presented by Sri Lanka, won the award for the best film. On behalf of the director of the film, Prasanna Vitanage, the award was received by the chairman of the National Film Corporation, Asoka Sera Singh. Sir. There were films presented by Bangladesh, India, Pakistan and the Maldives. The Pakistani film, The Saving Face, received the award for the best documentary film. Pakistani Daniel Jan Saha, Sherman Obey Chino Yadiakshinekala, The Saving Face, on the Mavarta Chitrapati, Nisamani Dinagati. The documentary film Apuru is Kole Mahathya, directed by Mayuri Vanaguru of National Rupa Vahini, got the special appreciative award from the jury. It has been produced based on the uh, dedication to being made by an English teacher of a village school for uplifting uh, the standards of the school. In the recent uh, Raika Awards, this film received the award for the best documentary film. From Sri Lanka. Two 
Today is the 21st anniversary of former Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi's assassination. Rajiv Gandhi was killed by a suicide bomb attack carried out by Tiger terrorists in Tamil Nadu in 1991. Rajiv Gandhi, who was born in Mumbai in 1944, hailed from a powerful political family of India. He was the son of former Prime Minister Mrs. Indira Gandhi. He was the grandson of Jawaharlal Nehru, who was a pioneer in the Indian f uh, freedom struggle. After the assassination of Mrs. Indira Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi became the Prime Minister of India in 1984. He played a leading role in signing the Indo Lanka Agreement of 1987. It was during this period when Rajiv Gandhi was the Prime Minister of India that the Indian peacekeeping force came to Sri Lanka. The Tiger terrorists murdered more than 2,000 soldiers of the Indian peacekeeping force. Because Rajiv Gandhi worked against them, the Tiger terrorists killed him as well. He died in a suicide bomb exploded by Tiger terrorists. Thin Mali Rajaratnam, while Mr. Gandhi was attending a public rally in Chennai. A special function was held in India today to commemorate Rajiv Gandhi. Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, Indian Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, family members, and a large gathering attended the function. Well, stay with us as we bring you international news next. Welcome back. A row between the U.S. and Pakistan over supply routes to Afghanistan is threatening to overshadow the summit of NATO leaders in Chicago. The two sides have been unable to reach agreement on Pakistan's condition for reopening the routes, closed after a U.S. airstrike killed several troops. The summit goes into a second day with troop withdrawals from Afghanistan dominating the agenda. France insists that its troops will return by the end of 2012. The handover is expected to be completed by 2014, but several other NATO leaders are under domestic political pressure to bring troops home earlier. More than 50 leaders are attending the summit, including heads of state and government from the 28 NATO countries, along with Afghan President Hamid Karzai and Pakistani President Asif Ali Zardari. A very good evening and welcome to the Sports News with me, Javed Bongzo. The players participating in the 2012 London Olympics have started their training programs. It is expected that about 11,000 players from 183 countries will participate in this festival. About 200 players from 27 countries are practicing these, these days in Rio de Janeiro. Morin Maggi, who received a gold medal in the 2008 Olympics for long jump, and Fabina Mura, who is the world champion for high jump, are expecting to get gold medals in this year's Olympics. The London Olympics will commence on the 27th of July. The Indian weightlifting player, 23-year-old Gito Fogat from the poorest province of India, Haryana, has qualified for the Olympics this year for the first time. The Indian Olympic officials believe that she will secure an Olympic medal for India in the London Olympics. Well, that's it on the news tonight. Thank you for watching. Do join us again tomorrow night at the same time.